Don't got an intro for you. You know nah, why? Because my that. brain is fried as all hell. This is what, like the fifth joystick video we've made yep. today, technically. Yeah. It's like five Six. and a half because we had we had to do B roll for the other Six. thing. Yeah. Bro, I'm tired, man. Yep. Welcome to the joystick show. Um, you know, I could be real easily just like, you know, welcome to the podcast, you know. We've got some stuff to talk about. But you know what? I'm saying fuck it. Yeah. We're going to have a great time. We are. It's going to be a ball. Mm-hmm. It's going to be eight balls because all four of us are here. And now that I think about it, we got a foursome going on. Yeah. And oh! uh, it's going to be a great time. Chances are I probably turned off half of you with the with the start of that, with, yeah. the, with the sexual innuendos. But uh, for the rest of you that stayed, <laughs> well, let's get fucking. Uh, it'd be really helpful if you could subscribe to uh, El Equipo de Joystick. That'd Real be your easy. boys. And, uh, you know, give us uh, a like. Mm-hmm. And for those of you who don't speak Spanish, that's Team Joystick. That's us. That's yeah. the pe- people running the uh, yeah. running the, 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 the podcast sure. today. You ready to, to crack into some, some convos? Like an I mean, yeah. some conversations. I just want to say we're filming this on September 1st, 2nd? 2nd. Yes, yeah, yesterday was September 1st. But point uh, is, is we're, we have approached a new month. You know, it's finally yeah. that time of the year where... The kiddies are going back to school, which oddly enough for two of us here means we have to go back to work. Yes. But, you know, just the fact that the school season starts changes a lot for a lot of people. So I think that's kind of a you know, big thing for, for us. I mean, I, one thing I want to hear about is how's the classroom uh, organization been, Mr. Joey? Yeah. yeah Mr. Been- Mr. Ortega. <laughs> what is it? Is it Mr. 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 Joey? He's Mr. Mr. Joey. Joey. Mr. Joey. Yeah. It's, it's, it seems more friendly like, like something you hear on a kid's cartoon or something. Mm-hmm. Mr. Joey. I like it. Um, but yeah, I've been decorating a lot. I've actually, because the COVID restrictions are being lifted, um, in June, I went to go see another preschool program. So I got to like pick things that I liked from their classrooms and stuff. One thing I'm going to incorporate is, uh, the kids are now going to design their own cubby spaces and how they, how they taught me how to do that was just to get construction paper and tape the back of it and if the sides if you want to go all extra let them draw let them draw or bring in stickers yeah like send a letter home to the parents like bring in pictures of your family bring Bring in stickers yeah Yeah, for sure yeah you have like those big uh those big what is it like those big uh cardboard paper things like those rolls those be really good for that because you could just kind of yeah it's like construction paper yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah, i I have that we can do that yeah that'd be really helpful almost like a almost mm -hmm. like a table at fridays you know (laughs) just fucking drawing yeah just drawing it so true and that's basically it. I have all the the names of my my students coming in this year. The parents seem like appreciative and stuff. Um, I wrote uh, "Bienvenidos" on my welcome board, and I had uh, already four parents try to come into my classroom just because I did that. <laughs> like they were like, "He speaks Spanish," and just by looking at this white woman, I don't think she speaks Spanish. And you can call that colorist, but like Damn a lot right of people, Spanish. a lot of people came to like just because they saw the "Bienvenido" sign. It's yeah. uh, that it blows my mind that like because you could take it one of two ways, right? You could take it in the bigoted way where you're like, they're gonna be te- what? No, absolutely no way. Or you could take it in the sense like, oh, my kid might learn a f- my some, kid, another yeah. language. My kid's gonna be mad smart. In yeah, right. Head by like, the time yeah. they're like ten. No, yeah. they wanted to come into my classroom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. It, oh they, no, I thought it was because they had a problem with it. Like the no, parents were trying to get no, no, involved. No, no, no. They, yeah, they, yeah. It was Spanish speaking parents. Like, that oh, this just is saw cool. the white. Yeah, as they should. Uh, they. I can't talk Spanish. to her. Yeah, I can't talk to her. <laughs> Basically, it's like, yeah, I can't talk to her. Yeah. Word. Yeah, man. Very interesting. That's how it is. I was also gonna say I'm jealous because like your kids are in what pre-K. Yeah. And they're going and getting to decorate their cubby space. I didn't get to do anything to my own personal space until like high school, and even then my locker sucked. I had to watch like Ned's Declassify, where kids yeah. are in middle school with a locker that has like a <laughs> disco cool. ball and a fucking. That was you know. middle school. Not to cut you off, but like fucking Nickelodeon shows put schools on such a high yeah. fucking pedestal. <laughs> yeah, like, Zoe sure. 101, Ned's Declassify. Okay, first of all, Zoe 101 is bullshit. Yeah. I understand I, that it's now. It's like that, California. Yeah. Like, like no boarding schools all like going that. They're the, the juice bar. <laughs> yeah, right. Victorious <laughs> is like this weird, like, it's like fucking, an art school, but crazy. It's like a college. But like yeah. in the Ned's route, like, don't get me wrong i never expected to have like a locker or like anything like that to, to that point where it's literally a fucking tv show but i did expect at some point to get a locker where i could put up like a little calendar or shit like that like my space and you, you, i didn't get that until way 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 later on so shout outs to you you're giving your did kids you decorate your early. locker with like all this cool shit you, nah, you put your i had disco ball uh, in your what locker? did i have in my locker i had like uh i had nothing in my locker. all i had yeah, was i had, I had i had my schedule 
on my on my locker and i had like dc magnets that i got from comic-con one year and they oh, were wow. all like they were like vintage like batman superman magnets i remember that actually yeah, yeah so yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. They're like the old school comic version also the lockers at our high school were like really small yeah mine yeah, were yeah. thin yeah ours so, were yeah. like really small thin. well so they were one on top of, an, of the other did you have yeah. that too or did you have long it ones? was just one long one oh, no, but it was thin we, we had we had that. small ones one on top oh of the you other. had like the gym size ones yeah when when we were in freshman sophomore we'd be on the bottom and then when you got to the the junior uh, senior your level that's when you finally upgraded to getting a top and, and, level. You, oh, wow. and you need the other kid in the face yeah <laughs> in my middle school right we had passage. lockers but then in high school i didn't have a locker so i was like yo <laughs> okay. what the fuck? You see, they, they switched it up <laughs> that's on weird you. in middle school my middle school was lit damn that's kind of that was <laughs> mad big had a lot um of books i around. i only decorated my locker with a mirror that i found at a 99 cent store so that shit came in handy when i wanted to like look if like maybe that's just the leo and me <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just a physical. We're ending, we're ending the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta end it. Did you see the look I gave Dylan? It wasn't even mad. It was like, what just happened? It was like, no, yeah. no. <laughs> Bobby's brain short circuited. No. Especially <laughs> short circuited. Bobby had to do like an hour and a half of puzzles earlier just to allude to yeah, another video. A lot of work. But uh, <laughs> his brain is just like, wait, hold on. Am I fucking tripping? We'll talk about that in a bit. All right, but anyways, back to that. I had a mirror and um, this thing that held all my pens. Nice. Oh, yeah. That was. It. Oh, I think I had one of those too. Penn Island. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know about that yeah, Penn Island? Penn Island yeah. yeah, I know about Penn Island. Island. It's the best website to get pens, bro. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> Go to PennIsland.com. Right now, do it. Uh, fucking no. I mean, for me, I yesterday I had to go to my work orientation. Yeah. And I I came to two really interesting uh, conclusions after that. I came to the conclusion that I really like the company that I work for. And I had a really interest. like, oddly enough, I was dreading it, but I had, I told my mom, like, the best way I could describe it was I had a really good time at orientation. Like, I met some really cool people, like-minded in the sense that they're, you know, passionate about educating and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. And by the end of it, I came to a second conclusion that I don't want to fucking work there anymore. I can't explain it. I think it's just that I'm getting to that point where, like, it's not even that I I don't want to work there. It's just I need something bigger now, like... Yeah. I need the, a higher position. Like that doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily mean at my job, but like, something else. Something a else. A full time editor, a full time production guy here. A fuck. Even if it's a higher up there, like a media position or something. But like I just, content media. I need you something know? more. You know something what I mean? Thought. So yeah, like in a weird position, like and another thing is everything's changing. Like my I have a new boss for like the first time since I started. Like I've always known my boss. Even when they changed, it was my old coworker. So it was never like I had to re meet or like somebody new. But now it's like this completely new person who I've never met, and I don't know if they're gonna like me or not. And it's, I don't know. It's just a I'm whole... just imagining the scene in Toy Story one where Woody is looking at Andy's room change, and he's just like, <sighs> "Yeah, that's pretty much it." <laughs> that's it's, you? It went from fucking stagecoaches to rocket ships. Strange and... things. <laughs> is that the song? <laughs> I Man, Randy Newman went in for the first one. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's I, I think it's finally my time to just kind of like wean my way out. I've had a real good run of, uh, of educating the youth in, in terms of uh, filmmaking in the video arts. But now yeah. it's time for Bobby to partake in the video arts. And that Themselves. starts that That's starts dope. here, you know, here mm-hmm. at Joystick. So uh, I, I, I spoke about it last week. But one of the cool things is that I found out I'm having a two day schedule as opposed to a three day, which means way more time to edit and way more time to more make content. videos and stuff. You hey. know, it, you know it. And uh, I'm just hopeful see where the future lies and you know what despite what i said i am oddly looking forward to this like what i'm hoping is my final year of teaching i'm not looking at it as like uh ah, fucking i'm out of here at the end i'm really looking to go out with a bang your like, magnum you know? opus bro i'm there's gonna make some fucking nuts. bro i'm gonna make like three movies with the kids bro man. <laughs> we're going to try back bro make me no <laughs> make make up make a try make um a trilogy yeah yeah no do how about this do a movie on tiktok a movie on tiktok in part like a show yeah or yeah. like an yeah, like a, like a episodic thing oh man because you're, guy you're, did, man. you're an idea guy, machine lately <laughs> there's a guy who did that there's a guy who actually he does he does a ghost hunting show he works as overnight security at a haunted graveyard in charleston you told me you, we, you talked about this on the podcast a did long I? long long time like, ago probably, yeah, probably way yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's still doing it after like three years and it's like horror content like you'll pay like his like nephew or whatever to like pretend to be like a ghost and like make <laughs> noise in the back <laughs> and he's like hey who's there and you see the shadow run by you're like oh fuck <laughs> good content bro is anybody else affected by this uh, September of change? This new quarter? Uh, I feel like just like, I don't know. It's cool to see like the different levels of school. 
Like it's always different no matter what you're in. Like pre-K versus you in middle school teaching versus me being in college. It's like it's all different ballgame. Yeah. Yeah. Even with like Joey, even Jerry talking about his middle school versus high school and then everyone else's experience. Like every type of schooling is like different. It's like yeah. life goes on or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but college just everything kind of like goes out the window it's like everything that you kind of like high school like a lot of high schools call themselves like a prep school yeah, yeah. but they don't prepare you for, for shit no they it, don't it's just kind of like okay college is all different rules the professor never shows up like <laughs> like everything yeah, just goes right. out the window one professor cares about attendance and, and if they don't show up at 15 yeah. you can leave you can leave <laughs> that, that's yeah. a rule count it bro have you ever left I know I, I bro I know that's a joke that is fucking law for me i i did that six times in college i swear just and i know for a fact that at least four that the, they never show yeah, up yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like you know my favorite thing is that when like especially because me i always usually only take like one or two classes a day or unless i work all of the classes into one day right it's yeah. one or the other for me so i get that email that the class gets canceled i'm just like oh. yeah, we're, like yeah, my we're, my, my professor too. has canceled class twice already <laughs> and it just started <laughs> I'm just remembering how much of a degenerate I was in college for the one year I was there. Oh, who fucking cares? Me too. I, I as someone who went yeah, to college yeah, yeah. for a year and then didn't yeah. go back for four, it was like I didn't if, give a if fuck. If flashback bro. to when you when we were talking about that to like me waiting for a teacher to come back like to a room or whatever, and I remember we were having like an open discussion, and I'm a freshman in college, so I'm just talking about how like yeah, man. I'm having such a hard time with like bibliographies and shit because mm-hmm. I gotta find like references. And then I remember there was this Jewish girl there, like, you know, like Orthodox, like in the whole yeah, get up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, she yeah. was like, bro, just do what I do. Go on Wikipedia, go to the references and copy and paste them. And I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and I did that for years, bro. Are you okay, kidding me? Okay, and now, and then that's that's probably when Bobby realized that college is all a fucking sham. Right? I, it's all a I, social I, I game. cheated on every quiz. It's, it's, it's like, I, I feel bad if I ever become like an adjunct or something and just be like, guys, don't cheat. <laughs> yeah. Definitely don't look up the answers that are easily look up easy, on yeah. websites. Guys, 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 don't get caught cheating. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Find find the workaround. Yeah, yeah. But man. I'm taking a class right now. That's I I, I talked about it actually on the uh, the let's play that we did to reference mm-hmm. that piece of media again. But I'm taking a LGBT literature course as like a capstone. Mm-hmm. That class is fucking crazy. All of the books we're reading are like the 1800s and like early 1900s, and you can't talk about being gay back then. So like back, it's all just like uh, idioms. Yeah, like back then it wasn't like being gay wasn't even a thing. It was like he was a doorknobber. <laughs> yeah, right. He was no, as legit, shining as the sun. No, legit. <laughs> it, like literally what people thought back then was just everyone is straight and there's just some people who just don't give a fuck and fuck dudes. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's oh, literally yeah. what people It was thought. like a wild demeanor Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type it was thing. literally that. He was and like, this man is wild. Yeah. And one of the first people to do that was Walt Whitman was that whenever he, he, whenever he wanted to portray sex, he would just have a wet scene. So he'd be like, the sailors are hanging out and they're drinking a lot of liquids and it's like, they're drinking sperm. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah? Are, are we? I don't know about that. That's a little bit of a stretch. Because like, I remember we were talking about, like, did you notice about this scene? Like, so where, I'm going to need your teacher to make you a, a list of glossary terms so you can bring it here, you know, he, like liquid, what, sperm. You know? <laughs> what if I told you that he actually, we have a glossary of terms. So please, but, please bring that. But it's not like that. It's not like, oh. Okay. The, the, so take it and make it like yeah, that. Yeah, I'll, I'll add extra ones. <laughs> that it's go, like yeah. drinking the cup is fl- facial. Fallacia, yeah. <laughs> Sitting on the chair means taking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Johnny wipes his mouth. I wonder what he's wiping. Three men down below means. <laughs> Three Legit, men down that's below. exactly yeah. what it's like. But like, it that class is just like absolutely insane. Yeah, I, I just like I'm just like I did not like I I took it because I knew it'd be interesting. Because my one class that I was originally supposed to take was literature of the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Which what is the like fuck, dude. Which Are you is like, me? which I, I, it's just like it got canceled. But I'm like, of the Indian, like the ocean, the <laughs> islands around. Is it like nah, we're talking it's about like, India? It's people who wrote books <laughs> while <laughs> on <laughs> rafts <laughs> in the Indian Ocean. I look around and see absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> but at least the water's really pretty. <laughs> what like, the fuck are we? The Indian Ocean? 
I see an island uh, that has absolutely nothing. fucking nothing on it. What a boring class. Yo, college is like, a, when you have to just do electives, it feels like such a joke, man. Yeah. You're least, just picking you're like, like bullshit. You're it's like, oh, what classes have a cool hmm. professor? I don't know. It's only, that's the thing. It has to be either that or it's like you have to find the one elective that you're like, I can stand that. Yeah. I can I can trick myself into liking that Into liking, that liking a lot. this. Yeah. I can trick myself into liking that a lot. I, I tried that and made a bad mistake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which was that? I, I had to fill out one last class so i was like with my advisor and he was like just dartboard it like just go through and just pick a random one that you think looks cool and i was like all right cool and i, I picked one and uh, i'll never forget it was in the all the buildings at brooklyn college are are for different subjects yes. so it was the one building i had in like the psychology sociology type building like that one mm-hmm. so i was like all right this is interesting my first time I there I, guess, but... I sit down and uh I, I look around and i'm the only non-black student in the class <laughs> I thought taking African oral history would be kind of cool. You know, you would learn a little bit about you know, African culture and things like that. And then the teacher came in in a mask and was like, <laughs> with a drum. And I was like, I think I picked the wrong class. And then like, by the end of it, she, she told us, know? no, she gave us like a whole rundown. And honestly, for the first like 10 minutes, I was like, this is pretty cool. But then by the end of it, she was like, by the end of the class, you will have learned all of the different styles of African oral lit- uh, history and poetry, and you will have to do a performance and dress oh for the whole God. class. And I was like, I'm I not doing seen that. that. That's how they I'm get you. That. That's how they I'm get you. I'm straight that they up. want like at a least... full on presentation. And that was like the second semester at the second half of the year that I already knew I was going to film school after that. So I stopped showing up. And even my uh, my cool advisor, I think his name was Mike. He was like, bro, just don't go anymore. Just stop showing up. And I was like, okay. Gotcha. Right, last thing about like I guess college if we're gonna change subjects, but I I had a professor, a Spanish professor, that my final assignment was to film a sketch in Spanish and then show it to the class. Nice. <laughs> and um, I teamed up the pe- one of the people that was in my team actually knows you went to Pompeii I think, and um, who the fuck? Uh, Becca. <laughs> oh yeah, Rios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah she was in my my team. It was me, her, and someone else, and we we what. What we did is that we were a news article, like a news channel, showing uh, how... Uh, <laughs> Telemundo. <laughs> yeah, basically. No, we, we were a news channel, and we were saying that uh, a person got hit with a chancla, and we made like a chalk mark on the floor nice. with a chancla, <laughs> exhibit yeah. A, and saying that uh, this joke, person got yeah. hit with the chancla. Blah, blah, blah. We made it like a whole serious like scene and everything. And that, that, I thought about that. That was like, that the last thing I filmed for school. Well, all I got out of that is now I found out that Two of my friends on that side of the table have uh, have different language video films that I have to see now that I haven't. Fucking Joey's Hispanic language news uh, news presentation. I think I still have the video if you want to watch it. And Dylan and Matt Newmyers making a ske- uh, uh, chocolate bar. It was a uh, Snickers commercial specific. in Spanish, right? It was in, completely in Spanish, and it was like <laughs> you see, it was like it was like oh, you know, the commercial where it's like oh, you're angry, you need a Snickers or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And Matt Newmyer for two seconds. Uh, I we were trying to get him to wear a wig and we didn't wear a wig and we got a worse grade because he wouldn't wear the fucking wig. Wow, wow. that's your and teacher. That, your and, teacher. Uh, is my like, teacher's a dick, but it's like you should have wore the wig, bro. You know, I, I would have given you if you wore the he wig. Literally said that. <laughs> he literally said Honestly it. speaking, I have spewed a lot of nonsense over this yes. show for the past 105 episodes. This is the biggest piece of, of just wisdom and integrity that I can give to you at home, the viewer. Always, always always commit to the bit oh, yeah, i don't give course. a fuck what it is commit always uh, oh, always commit to the bit. right if you if you're not funny it's because you don't commit to the no, bit you are like i don't know it, it's very funny to see not only people who aren't not i don't want to say not funny but people who don't really have a sense of humor right because you see them react to a joke and like yeah no no i'm not like that funny but i'm good at like one-liners like i'm good at like comebacks right and then when you're I, no jerry but. yeah 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 oh, oh, <laughs> jerry jerry has like the three to five word yeah that just yeah. gets you and jerry like, jerry's on his like 12th word the next thing he says and it's gonna be fire yeah yeah, yeah. The <laughs> but then people will just react and you're like that's a different reaction i like that <laughs> you know oh man oh that's funny I was also just going to say, I guess, to slightly divert it, I think what is finally cool about, you know, this change in the time is it's finally getting cooler out. Like, yes. Yeah. Today was the first yes. day I went out and it's, I was guys, like, it's, it's summer and September 21st. It's going to get hot again. <laughs> it's literally, it's going to be like 80s next week. You're going to be like, 
It was, but like you know, we're you went out today. It was like seventies. Oh super yeah. Oh, chill. oh, like a breeze. Oh, yeah, I was I like, I'm not sweating. This is great. Like I'm super open to taking a walk after this. Like it's super nice out to I the would, point where I it's... would too. But it's kind of chilly. My legs are gonna get cold. Aww. Chilly. <laughs> it's like <laughs> seventy, bro. Aww. Your legs kinda are gonna chilly. get cold. Yeah, my legs are getting cold. We don't want. We don't want Joey's legs to Did get cold. Did you see that calendar? I forget. what We were just talking about that. That's like false fall now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a, a calendar of all the holidays, but it's like all their like smaller words for it. So yeah. right now we're in false fall. And then next it fall. gets hot again. Or like, oh, I, like I the also... joke, uh, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. the second second spring. Or yeah, that shit. yeah, I forget oh, where I saw yeah, that. And then one of them is like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, I'm, I need some cool weather. I need to bring out the hoodies, bring out the flannels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where I, I, I have so many hoodies. I can't go that long without the flannels. You know that. Like, Word. On, the sh- part on, of me. on the show, I've pulled the look of shirt and then another shirt over that shirt. Yeah. And when it's hot, you can't really do that. Yeah, then no. I get, uh, you know what look I haven't pulled off? You know, the long sleeve shirt under short sleeve shirt. That's a pretty. Yeah. That's a. That's a pretty punk rock look. I gotta do that. I haven't done. I do that in the winter times. You, uh, you should go full hot topic with the black and white stripes. Did I tell you my idea? I was thinking oh, about yeah, pulling. Classic, a, I was thinking about pulling a Daniel Boobies Tosh yeah. and doing like every four episodes a different like. Style, I like that. You know what I mean? I like that. Daniel a lot. Tosh used to do that. Yeah. That was fire. That he cool. used to do that. Like every month at the Joyce Show will be a different kind of style <laughs> for me. It's hoodie. Dude, what was your favorite? Do you have a favorite one that he did? Yeah. High fashion was really good in my opinion. High fashion is a, uh, I like is, high fashion a lot. Um, there was one that was like sporting. Sick kicks for the ladies. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> uh, he had a great one. What was it? It was like a really stupid. He poem. had one that was like all monochrome. Mono- rem- monochromatic was great where he dressed in the same color. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, he had some great ones. I think that my favorite though is the, was the summer of deep V's. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, because those V's just got progressively <laughs> deeper, you know, to the point where like nipples were out. I mean, that's so, like Simon Cowell vibes. So the bro. summer of Word. deep V's was a pretty good one, <laughs> and uh, you know, I think we're in that at that time of the year, where, you know, where if you want to go wear your deep V's, this is your last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, as so deep good. as possible. Speaking right. of shirts and being hot, I remember how I dressed for salsa night? Yeah, it was pretty hot mm-hmm. up there. It was, yeah, I can imagine. It's, it was I mean, pretty I hot. salsa dancing. I mean, I sweat normally during the summer. So I mean, I that was that kind of kind of transitions to a topic on my list about how we went to a barbecue at Joey's house and then Joey left 15 minutes after we <laughs> showed up, <laughs> and we ended up hanging out with Joey's dad. It, it was, was such a. Vibe. It was a vibe. Yeah, it, it was, was a, a vibe, vibe. And I don't know if Joe told you, but we no. had a great time. Yeah. It was like eight puke stories. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like fucking ten drunk stories. It was like me. It was the. It was me, Jerry, Dylan, Jose. Your dad and Mikey, and we yeah. were just fucking yeah, shooting this sick. shit. Yeah, I just thought that was hilarious, though. <laughs> my now my mother my mother messaged me saying, "Yeah, the guy. I thought the guys were gonna leave, but they stayed for a while. Yeah, <laughs> they stayed for a while. I was, was like, good. Yeah. We, had a, we had a chill time. Word. It was funny. Your your dad was talking about this like movie that uh, that used to scare him when he was a kid. Oh, the with the ball. Yeah, mm-hmm. and before he could say it, I t- I said it, and he was like, "How'd you know?" And I was like, "Cause my uncles are all scared of it too. <laughs> like, I don't know why everybody's scared." Is of that, that like that a movie. Puerto Rican man? Yeah, I think, scared, I, like, I think that's just Puerto Rican. I don't, I don't get movie. it. <laughs> Puerto Ricans are scared of phantasm from the seventies. It's a ball that kills people. Yeah. It's a ball. No, nah, it was it a vibe. Food. It was good, and we ate some good fucking food. Those, Those ribs. ribs. Those oh, ribs. Oh, my oh my god! god. I didn't try them. I had. I left. Mikey's that. ribs. Oh my lord. Mikey, though. No, shout out to Mikey if you're watching this. But you you cook really well. Mikey does cook really well. You cook really. And shout well. out to Mikey because I'm like a week. It was the change. sauce. He said. We're gonna be doing a hot ones challenge. We have a crate. We that's that's content and a half. And I'm bro. bringing a camera. And we're gonna eat hot sauce <laughs> at Mikey's house. I don't agree with that. I don't know if you guys saw the rule set. I don't agree with that stupid only ice cream after the eighth wing. That's bullshit. Okay. No, that's fair. That's uh, torture. Uh, before I get to have some I'm ice cream, for sure. You're I think out. that's fair but because we, we get liquid though. It's, it's yeah, fair. It's m- fair. Water and milk. You know, if someone's if someone's yeah. like causing you like a chokehold, you can't be like, wait, 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 I'm about to fall unconscious. Let go real quick. <laughs> Let go I'm, I'm real quick. quick. Okay, now you could first tight again. <laughs> Joe's Jerry, gonna need to take like six lactate pills, bro. <laughs> all that milk. You all the milk. Oh, I don't God. drink. Or milk. just or he'll just like swirl it in his mouth. He'll see Jerry. Like, <laughs> Do you drink milk for the to help with the heat? It coats yeah. your mouth. I don't. I don't do that. Your dad was that. also telling us about like at some age, apparently, like you know, you, like your body's not supposed to be drinking milk anymore. Yeah, you're not supposed to. Yeah, I don't, no. I don't fucking when, know. That. I love milk. When, when you when you stop growing, you're also supposed to stop drinking milk. Yeah. In theory, the fuck. I, I mean, you're not supposed. That's to why drink it's like a oh, cow's milk, milk in general. Milk grows your bones and stuff. Uh, well, well they had to stop those got milk commercials. Remember those? 
Yeah. They had to stop them because, like, they were like, oh, shit, this isn't maybe, like, maybe we shouldn't tell a bunch of Americans to just drink only milk. I just thought they were running out of ideas. <laughs> they were just kind of <laughs> like, all right, we'll get uh, Chuck Norris in front of a, of a ranch. Got milk. All right, we got the cowboy yeah, there, audience. Yeah, there we there go. We go. Yeah. What, what's another target demographic we need to reach? We need to reach... Uh, the Asian community. All right, we'll get Jackie Chan. <laughs> is that, is that, that the in, token in, in Chinatown? <laughs> in China, doing something and then yeah. got milk, riding got a motorcycle. Milk. You know, I'm pretty sure he's from Hong Kong. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. but I think I'm more excited. I just want to let everyone know that the science behind the hot wings is that when it gets hot enough, your body thinks it's actually toxic. So when you get to like the seventh or eighth wing, the whole point is that you get kind of loopy. Yeah. So for yeah. filming it. We're going to have to censor some stuff. I might say some things I don't mean. Because if I'm like stimulant high off of wings, bro, I'm going to be saying some things. Oh, By ninth wing, you're, I'm not you even guys, a, I'm not you guys afraid of the video. Mind. I'm afraid to bring you to this person's fucking house. No, like, no. I, 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 I need to look up the lineup because if Dylan was just saying that they changed it. Yeah, so, so what happened Dylan was. Dylan gets to the ninth wing nothing. and he's I'm like, there's going. a reason whites are in charge. <laughs> <laughs> like, Imagine. We get things done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I get extreme racist no but during season one of hot ones they had one set of wings yeah and then at one point they changed some of them mm-hmm. so then when they made the box set it's like different wings than mm-hmm. the yeah last they time. have different box sets for sure yeah. i didn't know this was like a thing yeah, like it's been a show for it's been a show for, shit? Like, a, show for a lot of years a very long time. i thought like i had to buy each something. one individually at some different place you used to and then the show got so popular yeah, that they, they were like here's a box and to be honest that sets probably money that's money no i i want to buy a box that shit's sick yeah. However, if you want to go yes. Bed Bath and Beyond, has a has a good one. They make bread like off ten, of that. Honestly, it's like ten bucks, and you get like the whole. Yo, that's cool. But yeah. So I, I don't. Do you, were you gonna say something? Yeah, I was, it was gonna be about hot sauce. When I went to, I know this was like two podcasts ago. We all had the Jersey experience. When I went to the, um, like this horror convention, there was like at least two stands filled with like white guys selling their hot sauce, uh-huh. and I was like. Oh, okay. It's hot sauce theme. is popular, dude. Yeah. Okay. I, well, <laughs> I, uh, I have a memory. I don't know why I'm thinking of this right now, but it just reminded me. When I was younger, I stole hot sauce from a place. Oh, my like, God. Like Dylan. Chipotle? Yeah. No, no it, was like, <laughs> it was like a store that sold hot sauces. I think it was like Wildwood Ooh. or like Ocean City, Maryland. And it was like one of those stands and it sold hot sauces. And I didn't have any money because I'm a little kid. So I just grab it and go, Dad, chase my dad down the boardwalk. With it. And this guy's like, <laughs> But I didn't. Th- I was like, Oh. You idiot, bro. <laughs> hey, hot I'll- sauce. Oh, bro, I'm a dumb kid. What was I thinking about the other day? When I was, li- when I was little and my brother was like two years ahead of me and he was doing uh, social studies. He got up to like the first ever court case you learn about and I thought it was a boxing match because it's the V. <laughs> So I was like, oh, because yeah. I only played like Fight Night. Oh, I didn't know fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, are they learning about fighting? And I was Brown like, versus education. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, They're oh, fighting. that's about segregation. <laughs> that's not the same thing. That's completely. I different. thought it was a guy named Brown fighting yeah. this like an entire. School. Yeah, I was like, wait, he fought the entire high school, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, no. Six year old me could fucking. No, oh, was, I was gonna say hot sauce is like the weed of condiments. It's like you oh. walk into a shop and they're like, all right, I yeah, got this one, bro. Hey, this one will fuck is. you up. Do you want to get tired? Do you want to be crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want it to taste good or do you want it to do this? You're, you're trying to get a go. chill experience or you're trying to go and out it's there? All like, you... It's all like how violent, ultimate death, nuclear. Yeah. Like it's you all give them like, like a wink. It's like you got their good Reaper. stuff there. Like go to the back. They're like, all it's right. like They pull out like the shrooms of hot sauce. It's like some illegal Peruvian Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bottle looks like a gun. Yeah. It's a grenade or something. Yeah. Oh, fucking. I don't. I don't really know how. How to, how to segue this but i think it was yesterday me and and the guys minus dylan we were all on playstation and we were playing apex and multiverses yeah, and whatnot and jose was on he was talking to us and jose very very randomly brought up uh froggy fresh you remember this kid? Oh, it's a uh, bar. The baddest of <laughs> them all, all right the, formerly <laughs> known as Krispy Kreme yeah. before he had to change his name right uh 
so Jose was, you know, bringing him up, and I think Jose brought up like his video of him, like where he teaches, like I'm gonna show you my Bruce Lee pose, and he's like, so I just started like deep diving into this guy, right? I started looking up who he is, right? It turns out his name is Tyler Cassidy. That's yeah, he was name. on. Uh, they did the I little on Tosh Point. He did the yeah, Tosh Point, Tosh right? Have you seen what he's up to now? No, no. I, allow me to show you what, what this guy's up to. His brand has completely changed. I'll say that. <laughs> uh, but one in thing a, I found in a, in interesting, a good way? Is, or so like I'm not gonna lie, without sounding you know insulting, I genuinely thought that he had something because of the way he, pr- yeah, he played yeah, it. Yeah. But it turns out it's a character. Yeah. It turns yeah. out like he made an LLC for it, mm-hmm. and like they 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 did all this stuff and blah blah blah. And uh, this is what he's up to now, Tyler Cassidy. This is his new ch- uh, channel. Tyler the Creator. And it's kind of uh, it's kind of yeah. Look, like, like, check it out. Oh, the don't, not, no! not the Burger King ad. No! <laughs> Guys, this episode is brought to you by Burger King. All right, check it out. Look. Cool studio at the bottom of his house. This is what Froggy Fresh, or the artist formerly known as Froggy Fresh, is up to now. Got the fit. But just check out, like, the elegance here. <laughs> Got the Better Call Saul paintings in the back. Man's dressed like some ranch, bro. Looking Kim. So now he makes comedic piano ballads. <laughs> so this is like a, a love song about feet? Yeah. Okay. I think it's it's a love song that blends feet and Better Call Saul. I know? like that. Okay. So this is what he's up to now. And the last thing that I wanted to mention was, you know, I looked him up and I got onto the Wikipedia. And the last thing that it said in like his career space is that apparently in like uh, or mid or late July, he announced that he was going to be uh, rekindling the Froggy Fresh character okay. and making a podcast. Like a Froggy Fresh podcast. As Froggy Fresh. So uh, I read that and I was like, oh, this is cool. Because it says like, you know, a more in-depth look on how they make the content and stuff like that. So I read that and thought, finally, we'll get to see this guy sit down and explain the character. No, he does it, like you said, in the the style. The whole podcast podcast is this Froggy Fresh uh, Holy shit. The first like it's like eight minutes long. The whole idea is it's supposed to be short, and the okay. four I'll show you in a second because okay. there's some stuff for you to see. In the first four minutes, they just talk about like a couple random stuff in character, and then the last four minutes they perform an original song. But what I thought was funny is like the comment underneath the video was like this long comment that was like, "Hey man, I've been a fan of your of your content for so long, but I just thought your joke about about uh, the Flash kidnapping kids." Was, was just not tasteful or something like that. And then all the comments under it are like, really? Because it's kind of hilarious. And then when you play the video, there's just like a part where he's like, a lot of stuff happening in the world. The Flash is taking kids. Or some shit like that. <laughs> like the Ezra Miller case was mad fucking funny. Amazing. But check out uh, the reason I wanted to show it is when you look up the Froggy Fresh podcast, guess who he does the podcast with? Moneymaker Mike. Let's go. He's Look at money maker Mike now, bro. I don't know any of these people, <laughs> bro. But my man looks like Hoodie Allen. Look, bro. he's like the new Mac Miller, he's bro. He's chilling, dude. <laughs> They both look good, why does right? He, why they does he look, look really like they both Tom look, Cruise? And just and he does, to, yeah, he's short. And to give you perspective, <laughs> Joey, uh, fucking moneymaker Mike was this guy from the videos. Freaking, uh, I don't know who Froggy is. Maybe I do. About it. Well, this, this, this is, is their him, most bro. popular this video. Is him. That's the two of them. Yeah. They made Wait, this I think is I the know this one. Comeback story, yeah, bro. bro. He's wearing a Mac he's Miller shirt. So fucking shout outs to this Live your legend, dreams, kids. Dude. Live Serious your dreams. Eyes. Seriously, commit to the bit. Yeah. Like, come on. Guy's a fucking legend. So I just wanted to share what Froggy That's has been up to because I just fell down that rabbit hole and enjoyed every second of it. It was so great. Woo. Crazy. I feel like a lot of old, like other, like early internet people should come back, you know? Yeah, for like, sure. Like I know some like I, Fred? No. That's not what I, well. He's still making videos. He you know? is. We don't need yeah, Lucas he is. anymore. He's just not doing the character. He's but not like, doing the character. A lot of people felt like they were bullied, even though I feel like that's not 
really how memes work. Yeah. Like, I feel like they just took it the wrong way. Like, I feel like if yeah. Chocolate Rain came back, everyone would like him. Everyone yeah. would be like, yeah, you're cool, bro. I don't think people Was were, he oh, bullied? Rain. Yeah, he thinks that he was, like, really, like, betrayed. Because the whole idea is that he took it seriously and that that was, like, a serious, like, studio recording for him and then people took it as... And we're like, Chocolate Rain! When, when people aren't, like, you know, the joke isn't that he's a bad singer or anything. It's just an odd... It's very weird. You know, yeah. like, when he, he jumps away from the mic yeah. and all that stuff. It's a, he's, he's like a, a smaller framed man with like a very deep voice. Yeah, that's the like whole that point. But he took it as like, oh, this was a song I worked really hard on. And, and they yeah. shat on it. Yeah. So. Which I get. But then also... Baby four, baby four, yeah. <laughs> ring. What a legend, bro. Yeah, where, what's his name? Fuck. I forgot. Bill. Bill. Right here. Shout out to Bill. <laughs> nah, I had, a, I had another uh, rabbit hole I went down. I thought it was interesting. Yes. Is it um, that knife thrower? Knife thrower, the cod knife thrower. Oh no, I, that was interesting too. But I'll save that for another podcast. Uh, no, the I've been watching a lot of Family Guy recently. Yes. And just as like a small divergence, I, I watched uh, season fifteen recently because I've been watching some of the newer episodes, and I just started season fifteen. I think I'm about six episodes in. Funniest up season of Family Guy that I've seen since like season five or six. Oh, so we about to watch it tonight. It's hilarious. Can we? Can I'll we actually watch it? I'll put on like a good episode or two so you okay. can see for yourself. Like it's just even the cutaways that they do are either like so, like hilarious on their own or they just go so far that you just end up laughing because like how far they took that shit. But mm-hmm. it's really really good. Um, regardless, I before I started watching that, I was watching older episodes, and there's an older episode that's actually a pretty popular Family Guy episode where the gang. Uh, wants to find what the dirtiest joke ever Oh, was. I love that episode. Right? That episode's amazing. So super randomly, in Google, I searched the world's dirtiest joke. And would you believe, there's a fucking answer. It's kind of crazy. So have you ever heard of a joke called the Aristocrats? I believe I know about this. Never knew about this. Turns out there's a documentary about it. It's a joke <laughs> that goes as far as the vaudevillian era. That was performed back then. Wow. Okay. Comedians that have told the joke in, in recency are uh, Bob Saget, rest in peace, who's probably told it the most famously, and I'll get to it in a second. Mm-hmm. Um, what's this guy's name that he also passed? Like, Gilbert Godfrey? Yes. I think Gilbert Godfrey performed it like 10 days or like 8 days after September 11th. So wow. that that was pretty famous. And then uh, Penn Jillette from Penn and Teller performed a variation of it. Yes, it's, and, and it's like a big high profile. I've really heard quick. Do you die after performing it? Like, Correct. Is that like a <laughs> is that the Penn Jillette just powered through. He's like, no. But uh, long story short, the idea of the joke is that um, a family goes to a talent agency to want to get a job, you know, touring the world with their act. Mm-hmm. And then when the agent asks them what the act is, it's just the most vile inhumane yeah. gross disgusting black off-color thing you could even put in a joke shock 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 dude. yeah just awful stuff like the way bob saggy does it in the documentary which is like the most famous one is like i'm even afraid i think to i may have even i think i stuff. may have even seen this documentary but just know there's it. like incestual shit that happens people are bleeding people are defecating it's, it's an ongoing joke yeah and it goes on for like 10 minutes it's like a whole thing yeah but then and each comedian does their own their version, own version of, it. of it can i look like youtube this and some later you're not, not allowed yeah. to play any of that on youtube but but the the, the punchline of the joke is when the, 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 no definitely not, <laughs> definitely not. <Zoe. laughs> the punchline of the joke is when the Treat talent you. agent asks you know what the what the name of the act is they go the aristocrats like like if there's some high society people but Depending on who tells the joke, it's a very, very blue kind of joke. And one thing I love so the know joke about is, that that is that he is a super blue. So like, uh, yeah. No, I get the, jo- the the joke is this awful thing is called the aristocrats. Yeah, but it has like. Um, but the thing is, is it's a super old joke. Like it started. Yeah, like it started it off as like a. Normal. And the joke, it, it's not like. It's the same joke every time. It's every, everybody has like their own variation. The, the punchline changes. Like the idea is that it's a long, really disgusting off-color joke with a stupid punchline. That's essentially what the original. Okay, okay. Penn's version of it, which is hilarious, it goes on for like eight minutes or something like that, or it might be five minutes, but it goes on long. Because he talks about Siamese twins who are addicted to Julio Iglesias, and one of the Siamese twins is addicted. No, no, they both love Siamese. Uh, they both love Julio Iglesias, but one of the Twins is addicted to playing the trombone, and the other Siamese twin is addicted to masturbating. <laughs> so, uh, so like literally, maybe thirty times in the joke, 
he goes like this. He goes, so the Siamese twins, they go to the concert, right? Yeah, I've, I've like, seen, just I've doing seen that, that joke. And he does it like 30 times. Yeah, okay, and then the yeah. end of the joke is like, like at the end of it, they have sex with Julio Iglesias and then they go back home and Julio comes back to their city on tour. And like the punchline of the joke is, we should go back. You think he'll remember us? Like that's like the stupid punchline of that whole mm-hmm. long ass joke. But wow. the aristocrat's joke goes deep. And I think it's kind of cool that there is an answer to what is, is the dirtiest, the dirtiest joke, joke of all that time. one. And if you watch Bob Saget's version, horrible. Horrible. Mm-hmm. And what's actually kind of fucking cool about it is uh, it's from a documentary, like I mentioned. So it's Bob Saget when he's younger in a chair and he's talking to a camera guy. It's probably like the early 2000s or something. I think it was an HBO doc. And he's telling the joke. And it goes on for a really long time. But like every minute or two minutes, it cuts out from him telling like these disgusting bits of the joke. And it goes to another really famous comedian Do or it. writer. And then they talk about the joke or how Bob puts a spin on the joke. It goes to like Trey Parker, Matt yeah, Smith. It goes to all of My favorite, George Carlin. Even George Carlin puts his two cents. He's like, when Bob does it, the sun is, is shitting out of his ass. <laughs> like he's talking like the most disgusting thing. Like he, George Carlin says the Car- worst shit for like 30 seconds. And he's like... It's fucking genius. Yeah, <laughs> George Carlin's the best, bro. It's amazing. George yeah. Carlin's the best. And it keeps going back to the story. Uh, yep, sorry about that. We lost the fucking professional audio, which is why you heard the last segment in camera audio. But thankfully, we get that. Yeah. Thank you, Panasonic We all love GH4. a backup. We all love a <laughs> safety net. For sure. You're not even... Yeah, I actually yeah. have to start putting the, the better microphone on top so we can actually capture the back the, the, the backup audio but regardless Word. get to the backup regardless uh i wanted to end with like one final thing which is okay. uh it kind of also uh interweaves with the fact that jose is on his way and we're gonna be hanging out with him in literally a little bit cute and uh one thing that me and jose have been doing is re-watching dragon balls right kind of feels Ball like Zeta. I think like after the whole Fortnite thing happened where Fortnite introduced the Dragon Ball Z skins and the Kamehameha and all their the things that they introduced, like people just kind of went back into that DBZ mode. And speaking of, hello? Okay, I'm going to get somebody to open the door, but you're on the podcast again. You want to say one thing real quick? Oh, um, uh, uh, if a kangaroo's attacking, you get behind them. Sounds good. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right. If uh, a kangaroo my, is attacking, head, get behind he's like, them. He's going through a book. <laughs> he has a book. Of me. He's like, oh. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, yeah. Ever since the DBZ Fortnite thing happened, like everybody's watching uh, Dragon Ball Z again. Right. Sorry. All these clips of Dragon Ball Z everywhere. Keep talking, just... man. Hey, no. can you open the door for us, please? I went to rewatch the new movies. Also, how was I've... it? It was pretty good. Were there some interesting fans? Uh, to be honest, there was only like. Maybe like less than ten people, ten other people. No, there was actually like three groups of people. There was like a lot of teenagers. Okay. But were there yeah. any interesting fans? Nah, not really. No, no one went in the front and was like, "Everyone, give me." Your Jerry own. was the interesting fan. He just doesn't want to admit it. You know? <laughs> Jerry blew that place up, bro. Everyone. Jerry, up Jerry Jerry charged up a special beam <laughs> cannon from the back of the room. Together, we will all Yo. do the largest kamehameha. I don't want to spoil anything. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, yeah, but no, Dragon Ball Z is sick. It's fun to rewatch it from the beginning. You know, it's kind of like that anime. Everybody says it. it's not even a joke that it's the anime that got the millennials and the Gen Zers into to anime in the first place, right? But because of that, it's also just one of the most cliche and kind of stupid animes at the same time, yeah. right? Word. Like Jerry and I were joking about it, how like the show really is just them waiting for Goku seventy five percent of the time. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is imminent threat is coming to Earth, and they're like. All right, but Goku's going to be here in, like, three months. So you got to kill, like, these ten people. And then the last second, Goku's going to show up and whip your ass. Like, that's how it works. But it's just a really funny... But it's one of those shows that, like, it, in, in the sense of how f- stupidly funny and cliche it is, it's yeah. just... It's a masterpiece, right? Like, it's just incredible. Like, so good. <laughs> Even, like, the it idea is. of, like, uh, like the bad guy turning good, right? Like, the whole Vegeta thing. Yeah. How that's in, like, a shit ton of animes. And, like, it came from that big... That it's, big it's moment. Weird. It's the trailblazer. Dragon Ball Z definitely yeah. is the trailblazer. It was like it was big in America because it was like it was the one that had like a decent like dub for the voices. Yeah, for sure. True. Yeah, yeah you had to get a good amount of people to go. Yeah, ah, it was on Toonami. It, cool. it caught everyone on there. Dad, t- Toonami yeah. definitely. Popped a lot of the off. Toonami animes like popped off. Oh, that's where Except like Cowboy Zatch Bebop Bell. was on there. Yeah, South Bell. That, that is. <laughs> Like they had uh, bobo, 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 the they had Yu Yu Hakusho on there, Veroni Kenshin, Yu Yasha, One Piece, 
Lost me. <laughs> you know you Yasha. I know when you wash you know. <laughs> I, I, I know what it looks like written, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then when you say I'm like that's he has like said? the red he has like the red, yeah, the red yeah. clothes. It's like a and red the white kimono hair. and he has, yeah, he has white like cat ears. Cat ears. Oh, okay, loser. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get him and the guy from Bleach mixed up all the time. No, the guy from Bleach is black. red hair. Black oh, yeah. with the orange hair. Orange hair. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch Dragon Ball Z. It's a brand new show. It's really good. It's cool. Just been just it just got made. Yeah, they, they just got they made. Dropped, it like, was in Rondo. Fortnite. They, they dropped like six hundred movies in 20, 20, 600 episodes in twenty movies yeah. in like uh, overnight. It's actually impressive. Pretty, pretty nuts. It is impressive. And I promise, before we move into Jam in the Yam, uh, next week I do want to discuss She Hulk. I was trying to to watch yes. it. Yes, gives before, me a chance to watch it. But I I, I also do have a strong opinion where I like to wait till episode four anyway. So I think that'll I think it was it was done for a reason. But I do want to voice my opinions on that because as joey knows the internet is uh is going to blaze over the show yeah I'll and i love megan the stallion so i'll i'll, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'll watch with a grain of salt but uh anyway all right is it time for jamming you i think so no. i think it is rip old candle it broke last week so uh new candle white time. pine and that uh, candle looked like it belonged in shrek's house white pine and, <laughs> and mistletoe just in time for the september uh month the change right <laughs> yeah right also, last but not least, uh, you know, get ready for the final month of Joystick before the CHO, the ch- uh, Chief Halloween Officer, takes over and turns this shit into a spook fest. That sounds kind of yes. racist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that it does. Uh, how about, uh, how about uh, s- 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 scary time? Scare fest. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. That's better. Hopefully. I guess. <laughs> that's not what they call it at Six Flags, right? No, no, First one was no, racist. No. The second one's copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> we're all, we're getting in trouble. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. But uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. I definitely want to embrace just not only that, but the holiday season in general. Mm-hmm. Turn the content funsies. But yeah, jam and yam. Jam and yam and bam and slam and dam. You know it. Do you got one? I have one. Yes. Mm-hmm. What you got? My yam of the week is the song. Though I do that movement. My yam of the week is "Loam" by Balance and Composure. Uh-huh. Mad good fucking song. Uh, really good chorus. I like singing it in the shower. I was not plugged out. Okay, no, you're good. It would tell me. Oh okay. yeah, everyone check that song out. Mad good band. I think they broke up now, but uh, some of the chillest music out there. I know Jerry listens to them, so they're pretty. Wait, who? Balance and composure. Yes. Yeah. Fire. All right, who next? My uh, my slam is actually an an old song I used to listen to. It's by Riley, and it's called Fight Milk. It's cool. Sick. Like a baby song. Yo. What is it? You gotta fight the milk. Fight the milk. <laughs> it's been a very anti milk podcast today. It's strange. <laughs> My BAM of the week is uh it's actually not on streaming platforms yet. It's by Playboy Cardi and ASAP Rocky. It's called Our Destiny. I heard that. So yeah, I found it on Instagram actually. Where the fuck am I gonna find that link now? <laughs> Just put a photo of Playboy Cardi upside down. All <laughs> Just right. be like, all right, there, there. On the on the off chance that video isn't available or that song isn't available by the end of the week when I edit it, uh, I'll just have Jerry like re-record like his uh, his his song and it'll <laughs> play like, over. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, like a bad dub kind of thing, <laughs> you know. Or, or either that, or I'll just paste the the cover art on his head so you don't actually see it'll be perfect don't worry <laughs> it'll funny. be great yeah. or it'll work out perfectly and that joke won't be able to be made uh and regardless the jam of the week is actually going to be a diddy bryson tiller song that Ooh. is called hey. gotta move Ooh. on yeah it's pretty pretty good jam heard it in the barber shop this week so nice shout outs to that good one boys great mm. conversation That's thanks for everybody like uh that. everybody for showing up for this one it's always great to have a foursome together hell yeah take that as you will dylan uh, joined the handshake uh, me and jerry got one down and then me you. and dylan get one <laughs> he's La with Paz. He's okay with did did we he's... get one okay make sure to go ahead and subscribe <laughs> to, to this gangly group of idiots and yep. uh go ahead and like this episode if you, if you like it thumbs up yeah. and uh if you're starting school tell us what subject you're dreading to get into tell oh. us what subject is the red folder i fucking hate math the red oh. folder what is the red math folder? just sucks can we can we just i i've seen I this meme math. Go, i've seen this math meme is go, all right <laughs> basic math is okay adding subtracting all that stuff that's yeah. cool i'm cool with that and shapes get involved even that's accounting cool. i'm cool with uh, yeah. real quick actually this would be a good way to end the podcast right Ready? I'm a red folder. What is that? Social studies? Math. Nah, math is blue, bro. Math is green. Literacy is blue. Science is Anything green. Anything reading, literacy, me? words is blue. Math Science is, is green and that's Can we finals. all agree that yellow is English? Yeah. Yellow is English. Yellow no, is blue English. is English for me. Why would, nah. why would blue is social math is studies or science? Easy. No, blue is the easiest subject. Thanks for English. watching, guys. Have a great night. <laughs>